Hello there, I am Shane with CodeKarate.com and today we're going to be going over how to set up a brand new Drupal website on Bluehost in less than five minutes hopefully. So we go to Bluehost.com and we're going to start by selecting the Get Started Now button. This is going to bring you to a plans page where you can look at the various Bluehost plans. In this example we're going to select the starter plan. The next step is to either get a new domain or select if you already have a domain. We're going to go with a new domain here. We're going to call it myfirstdrupal.com and we will click next. It will check if that domain is available and in this case it is. So now we are going to go ahead and fill out the account information. and then you're going to select the package that you want. In this case I'm going to do the 12 month price. You can also select any extras you want such as domain privacy protection, site backup pro, site lock domain security, search engine jumpstart, or Google Apps for your work. In this case I'm not going to select any of those additional options. You'll then need to enter in your payment information. and check the I confirm box and click next. This will bring you to a page that should ask you if you want any additional upgrades. So you can read through the additional options and select those if you want. I'm going to just hit complete. The next step will be to choose a password you can use the password generator or create your own password. I'm going to go ahead and just use the password generator. You want to make sure you either write this down or save it for wherever you normally save your passwords so you have that. We then click create. Now we go ahead and enter in our password. and log in. And this should get us into our Bluehost account. Now that you are logged in, you can go ahead and click on hosting. And this should automatically bring you to your cPanel. So in order to install a Drupal website, this is assuming you don't already have one. If you want to install a completely new Drupal website and start from scratch, you can click on simple scripts under website builders. this is going to allow you to install a bunch of different types of websites and services on your Bluehost account. In this option there's blogs and website builders section. You can see there's a Drupal 7 option, there's also Drupal 6. We're going to go ahead and select the Drupal 7 option here. You simply click this install uh, a brand new instance and you select your domain. This may take a few seconds here. You can show advanced options if you need to and you want to make sure you select that I have read the terms and conditions. If you show advanced options we can give it a site. You can give it uh, username, email address, and an admin password which you may want to save for a later use. You can then click install now. And This may take a few minutes as it's going ahead and installing a brand new Drupal site for you. This then brings you to a place where you can install other themes or add-ons onto the site. I'm not going to worry about any of these for now. 
but you do see that in, on the top it says your install is underway and it gives you progress. If you click view details it just shows you it's installing Drupal 7 and it shows you how far along it is. And as I mentioned this could take a few minutes. So we're going to let this sit for a little bit and looks like it's getting close to being done. Once you see this orange, then it says your install is complete. We can click the View Credentials button. And it says your Drupal install is finished. And now we click on the View Credentials, and it tells you you can access your Drupal 7 website. So we're going to open that up and see if it works. And there you go, you now have a working Drupal website in just a few minutes. We can go ahead and log in to make sure everything's as it should be. And there you go, your first Drupal website on Bluehost. You can use Bluehost then, and come over to the FTP manager, set that up, or use the file manager to download additional modules or themes, and go ahead and start building your Drupal website. That's it for this time. See you later.